Hey everybody, welcome to Terry's Tesla. Now you know me, I've done a few videos on how to format a thumb drive for your sentry mode and your dash cam and your Tesla. Well, those were all done based on doing it on your computer. Basically doing it on your Mac or PC, formatting the drive out of the box in the right format, putting the Tesla cam folder on it. Today we don't have to do that anymore. Let's take a look. I'm holding in my hand a brand new SanDisk um, USB Extreme Go USB 3.1 flash drive, 128 gigs in size. You don't need really to have one that big, but I like to have larger sizes so that they can hold more storage until I get a chance to review it. And you might say, well, Terry, you, you normally recommend the iExpand. And I, you're right, I do normally recommend the iExpand, but now that we have the ability to view the videos right on the dashboard in the in the um, dash cam viewer i just don't need the eye expand as much because i'm not having to take it out and plug it in my phone i can review the clips right on my device but we're going to go ahead and open up this brand new sandisk drive and we're going to put it in and format it right in the car from scratch all right let's go ahead and rip it open All right, I've got my SanDisk opened, and here it is, brand new, never used, formatted, right out of the box, never used it, and we're going to go ahead and open it up, or, or extend it, and the thing you need to do is, uh, if you have anything plugged into your USB ports, even another flash drive or charger or whatever, take everything out, so remove everything from your two front um, USB ports, because it can't format anything if there's something already plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one this one drive in, everything else has been unplugged, and then we're going to go to the menu and do it from there. Plug the uh, USB drive in there, you can't see it, but it's really just right here, there's nothing in the other port. Um, and of course that one's not formatted properly, so we need to go format it. So let's go to the dash and let's go ahead and click on our main menu. Let's bring up and go to safety and security. When you go to safety and security, you want to scroll up until you see the dash cam and right now it says i've got my you know default save clips on honk but now format usb drive is now available because a it sees a drive that's not formatted properly b there's only one drive plugged in so it knows oh this must be the one you want formatted so we're going to go ahead and tap it it's just making sure because of course when you format a drive it wipes out anything that was on it and this is okay because there was nothing on that drive it was brand new or nothing I care about. And um, that's it. <laughs> that was just that quick. My dash cam is now enabled. The uh, red icon is enabled up here. Uh, I can go ahead and turn on sentry mode. Sentry mode's working. Everything's working just that quickly. It not only formatted the drive, but it went ahead and put um, the right folder on the drive all in one step. We no longer have to do this on the computer. So now if I were to go and tap uh, and launch the viewer. I don't know if there's going to be anything on there because we just put it in. Yep, no footage found. But if I were to go ahead and uh, let's close the viewer and let's go ahead and enable the uh, dash cam again. We'll give it a second to re-enable itself. There it is. And now we'll just go ahead and save the footage that's already there, just recording from my driveway. Now that that footage has been saved, we'll go ahead and launch the viewer. And we should see something now because, again, I just went ahead and saved something. And there it is. There's the front of my house. There's the left camera and the right camera and the rear camera facing my garage. All that just got recorded with that one button tap on uh, the, um, the dash cam icon to save the footage. Basically, just save where I am right now. So uh, front camera, left camera, right camera rear camera all saved just like that so the dash cam viewer is that much easier and better to work with than using the i expand and more importantly you no longer have to jump through hoops to format your drive you just put a new drive in go and make sure it's the only drive in go to your safety and security menu option and format that drive it's ready to go it's in the right format it's got the tesla cam folder on it Kudos to Tesla for finally making this easy. Now I just wish they would build in an SSD so that we don't even have to bother with buying thumb drives. It should just be built into the car. Elon, are you listening?
build it in. Just build it in. Why are we having to buy thumb drives, consumer brand thumb drives? Now, <laughs> with that said, I know some of you like to use SSD drives. They're more expensive, they hold more, they're probably a little bit more reliable, but I still prefer a thumb drive because it's cheaper, it's easier, it's faster, um, and I don't have to worry about having this expensive SSD drive in my car that could get corrupted or something could happen to it. A thumb drive is just that much easier to replace. So with that said, I hope you got something out of this. I hope that you can now easily go format your own drives. Cheers, take care, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.